Hello and welcome to a more detailed overview of my latest invention, the flying machine. Uh, I know Duncan from the Yogscast is currently trying to build one himself, but uh, I'll just bring up a video in the corner now. There you go. Uh, that video was uploaded on the 28th of January 2013, proving that I've already created a functioning flying machine before Duncan's first video of his flying machine. Now, um, I'll be alternating between this video and the video up in the corner to give you a guided tour of the machines that I've built and explaining to you how they work. Click on the small video at any point to see it in a higher resolution. It's fully automatic, it's self-powered, it leaves nothing behind, it needs no rails and it will move itself and anything attached to it with frames, these things, uh, it will move them infinitely. So uh, if I just remove this block I can show you that, it did just move but and then uh, more about how it works later, wait for it, there we go and it will just keep moving itself. I've just put these in front so that it doesn't uh, go off the edge of the map. Now what I have here is a more advanced version of the original Astro engine over there. What this does is the exact same thing except it's got a redstone circuit on the side here. When you input a redstone signal to this it will send a signal through that pipe and into the block breaker which immediately destroys the frame motor before it's even moved the system which means that at any point you can destroy the frame motor and what that means is that you can have a system which reliably removes the frame motor from the system which means that you can move it in a different direction using other frame motors I'll explain that in a second and what this one does is once it's block once the block breaker has destroyed the frame motor and it's gone through this pipe it will be stored in this ejector and once you apply a redstone signal to this pipe the ejector will eject it into this pipe and it will go through the normal system through there through the item detector and get deployed just as normal the only thing that's changed is this redstone system that allows you to remove and place the flame rotor back into the system whenever you like. Over here is what you'll be using it for. This is a open air design showing you the exact same model as that one over there except there's four of them and they're all connected together facing in all four horizontal directions and what this is for is uh, probably easier shown here in this design it has inputs leading to the uh, inputs on the side to the redstone circuit here which means that with this push of a single button if it activates this redstone wire going around around the side here then uh, it will remove the frame motor from all of these machines at once and then you just need to apply a signal to one of these wires which will place the frame motor back into the device which means that you can move in any horizontal direction and all you need to do is press two buttons. This is the vertical Astro engine which uh, this this particular one only goes down which is the simplest design of all of them. If I just remove this block you can see it works. So it just moves down. I'm just going to let it do that a few times so that you can see that it doesn't just do it once and then stop. It just did it again. and there we go it will keep moving this is the adapted Astro engine the most advanced what this will allow me to do is it works just like the original Astro engine that I showed you first except it has two inputs on the side 
and a little storage circuit so that you can deactivate and activate the engine when you want just by using these two redstone inputs which will allow me to create a spaceship which I'm coming up with the design for right now uh, so if I just remove this block you'll be able to see that moves as well the entire thing moves and it doesn't need any rails now over here I have a design where I've actually built a little example house inside the machine to show you what you'd be using it for you can simply open this door up using that lever fly through the uh, hatch there go up the staircase it's slightly cramped due to the nature of the thing but you've got all these levers and switches here and what they allow you to do is I'll give you an example say there was a frame there and you wanted to get rid of it all you would need to do is come down here and press this button labeled deactivate all engines and that button you can press it as many times as you like and it won't break anything it's very robust and that will remove any frames that are still remaining in that slot that slot that slot or that slot it will remove all the frame motors from the machine because for a frame motor and a frame cannot move another frame motor which means you need to remove all the frame motors before you can move the machine now to move the machine you'll also need to put a frame motor back in and to do that you simply for example if you want to move left you simply press the uh, activate left engine which is this button here and it will place the left frame motor into that slot there after a brief pause there it is it will also automatically adjust the frame motor so that it's pointing in the right direction so now all you need to do is pull this lever and it will start moving to the left so I hope you enjoyed this video make sure to like favorite and subscribe and I uh, hope to be making more see you next time